In this video, we're going to look at a nice, challenging radical expression. We're asked to rationalize 2 root 5 minus 3 root 7 over 5 root 6 plus 4 root 2. We don't like to have these radicals in the denominator, and we know whenever we see any adding or subtracting in the denominator, our strategy to clear the radicals is going to have to be to use the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate looks exactly the same with a 5 root 6 and a 4 root 2, but we change the sign in the middle to subtraction. So we multiply 5 root 6 minus 4 root 2 in both the numerator and denominator. And as we do, we need to remember in the numerator, we're multiplying by the entire numerator. This is going to force us to do some foiling. 2 root 5 times 5 root 6 is 10 root 30. Multiplying the outside numbers and the inside numbers, keeping them inside. 2 root 5 times negative 4 root 2 is negative 8. Square root of 5 times 2 is 10. Negative 3 root 7 times 5 root 6 is negative 15. Square root of 42. And then negative 3 root 7 times negative 4 root 2 is positive 12, square root of 14. Nice foiling there. The denominator's a little nicer, though, because the denominator is conjugates, a sum and a difference. We only need to multiply the first times the first. 5 root 6 times 5 root 6. 5 times 5 is 25. And root 6 times root 6, there's two 6's under the radical, so we can pull it out, leaving no radical. And the last ones, 4 root 2 times negative 4 root 2 is negative 16. And with two 2's under the radical, we can pull it out, leaving nothing inside the radical. We have now cleared the radical of the denominator. All that's left is simplifying what we can. In the numerator, you might look at these radicals to see if there's any pairs we can factor out. 30 is 6 times 5, and 6 is 2 times 3. There's no pairs in 30. 10 is just 2 times 5, no pairs in 10. 42 is 6 times 7, and 6 is 2 times 3. No pairs there that can come out of the radical. And 14 is 2 times 7. No pairs there that can come out of the radical, so the numerator can't simplify at all. All we have to do is the denominator. 25 times 6 is 150, 16 times 2 is 32, and so if we subtract 150 minus 32, our denominator becomes 118 with the 10 root 30 minus 8 root 10 minus 15 root 42 plus 12 root 14 in the numerator. We can only reduce if we factor first. There's no common factor, so this beast becomes our simplified, rationalized denominator. Again, we rationalized it by multiplying by the conjugate. Multiply by the conjugate and then simplify what's left.